Altrincham's momentum is building with another victory on Tuesday night at the uh, J. Davidson Stadium, 4-1 against Bradford Park Avenue. And we have assistant manager Neil Tolson with us. Uh, Neil, good game of football uh, tonight. Very happy with the results and another excellent performance. Yeah, it was. Um, you know, we uh, got off a good start. Two goals, uh, early doors. And and to be fair, we let a, let a bit of a goal in at the just before the half-time. So it sort of changed the team talk a little bit. Um, but fair play to the, the lads, they've stuck at it and to be fair, thoroughly deserved the 4-1 victory in the end and, you know, I don't like um, being too uh, close to the wire but it could quite easily have been 7 or 8 that game today. Bradford have started well, both sides have had chances to score in the opening minutes but we've got the all-important first goal and uh, some people will say he's rolled it into an empty net but he still had a bit to do, James Walsh, and I think he's saved Simon Richmond's blushes a little bit. Yeah, he did a little bit. I think um, I think Simon's uh, felt he probably should have passed it because I think he had James Laurie square, but you know he didn't, and that, I think that shows the confidence that the players have got at the minute. You know, he's he's prepared to, you know, go and roll one past the goalkeeper. It didn't work out, but you know we we work on things like that, following rebounds in, and you know while he was in the the right place at the right time, and I think it was a, a really really good finish from from where it was. So. You know, we we do work on things. I'm not saying the rebound, but we do work on following things in. So at least we know that they're listening. And the second goal came not too long after. Nice finish from uh, Damien Reeves. You'd expect him to score from uh, that position from a good delivery. Great delivery. Um, I think that was Simon Richmond again. Got past uh, got past the the left sided centre half and whipped in a great cross. And yeah, Reeves with it, with his ability, he's always going to be putting those ones away. Um, and I'm pleased for him because I think he's been working really hard. Uh, and you know we like seeing Damien's name uh, next to the goal column. Yeah, him and uh, James Walsh are perhaps not the most natural partnership, but in recent games they seem to be sort of working together. And, and Damien's really provided one or two good balls in for James uh, tonight. Yeah, he has done, and I think you know the other way around as well. You know, Wally, Wally, he, he's put a few decent decent crosses in for for Reeves. And it is, it's sometimes you have to work at these things. It's it's almost like a marriage at times, you know. It's, it's, you, you, have, you have your ups and you have your downs, but the two of them work really hard together. And, uh, you know, I think that the, the, we're reaping the wards now. Um, both of them work hard, both of them score goals. So if we can keep getting them in those positions, I'm sure they'll, uh, they'll keep climbing up that goal table. We looked like we'd continue to score further goals, but Bradford got the next goal and uh, Jordan Deasy has scored a fantastic goal against us last season up at the Horsefall Stadium, scored another good goal, although it did get a deflection. He's a he's a fantastic player, is Jordan. I think um, you know I think there's a big big future for for Jordan. He's got he's got everything. He almost reminds me of um, a Duncan a Duncan Watmore. You know how quickly he takes the ball up the field. He's uh, he's a very good player. I mean, he's hard to mark. Cause he can go left. He can go right. He's very direct, which defenders don't like. Um, you know, and he, he's got his shot off. I think he might have took a deflection on the way in. Um, but if you don't have a shot, you're not going to score, are you? But he's a, he's a very, very good player, Jordan. I'm sure you're disappointed to concede a goal just before half-time, but you got a good reaction from the lads uh, just after uh, the second half started. And there was a delay as well, which can, you can, it's easy to lose concentration. But very good second-half performance. I, I, I would possibly say it's, it's the best second-half performance that we've had since we've been here because I don't think they've been in our half... Uh, You'd probably say less than a minute of that 45 minutes they was in our half. Um, obviously, you've, you've got the, the footage to tell me otherwise, but it felt like we were just constantly in the final third, uh, attacking the you know attacking the goal goal to the right, and we we could quite easily score six or seven in the second half because of the way that we were playing and the tempo we were playing at and the way we were moving it around. And uh, as I say, I think I think four one on reflection of uh, the chances and the possession and the domination, especially of the second half. You know, that could quite easily be been six or seven tonight. A little bit unfortunate for Bradford Park Avenue. Ryan Qualter, who's a good uh, central defender, young player, but he's made a mistake, panicked a little bit, and you'd be disappointed if you were his manager. You, you would do. Is that, that, that the sending off? It's, uh, it is, yeah, yeah, he has. He's made a mistake. And you learn from those. You know, we've, we've, we've had young players here that have made mistakes, and as long as you learn from them, you know, you have, you have to deal with that. We're all we're all human. Um, I think it was spot on by the referee. I thought um, Wally would have got a shot off, probably would have scored. Um, but yeah, as I say, if you make these mistakes. As long as you learn from them, that'll be all right. As long as he doesn't learn against us. 
And James Walsh has uh, done what he does very well. He scored from point blank range. Not sure which part of his body the ball went in. I think it was Scott Leather who won won the header. But uh, that's given us the two goal cushion and then a great goal from uh, Kyle Perry. Made made up for the big man. He um, he does a lot of work back to goal, and he's you know he's as strong as an ox. And and to be perfectly honest with you, his goal was was top draw tonight. He got his body in, moved the ball to the left, and you know the ball was in the back of the net before the goalkeeper could even have a look at it. So. Yep, made up for the big man. We were disappointed when we lost against Harrogate a few weeks ago, but since then everything's gone very, very well for us and now some great uh, fluidity about the way that we're playing. And of course, we're much, much better at the back these days. Both uh, Luca and uh, Scott Leather have been outstanding in recent weeks. I think I think they have. You know, when you look at Adam Griffin's come in, Buzz when he was playing there, uh, Sean Densmore, you know, right back. And as you mentioned, the two lads, they are the... There's good communication there, but the we always say you don't you don't defend from the, those four. You've got you've got four lads in midfield who are working exceptionally hard. You've got two lads up front who are working exceptionally hard, which also makes it that little bit easier for the back four. So, although uh, we're aware of how well they're doing, that's a team thing. That's not just a back four. That that's a collective uh, hard work from the team. Why we are defending as well as what we are. And in a quieter way, I thought uh, Carl Rogers had a very good game tonight. Yeah, yeah again, he's another one. He's uh, you, you wouldn't wish to meet a nicer lad or have a nicer lad around the dressing room. Whatever you ask him to do, he'll go and give you 100% and do it to the best of his ability. Um, Jake Maltz, probably unlucky not to be playing tonight. And I think that's I think that's a good position where we are because we've got players that can play and that, that are good enough to be starting. So Bruno's had his opportunity and I think he did really well. And, you know, he's took, he's took that chance. Yeah, the different sorts of players. So this sometimes is it horses for courses. Cool. Yeah, of course it is. We we get match reports on on you know different teams. We knew that Bradford were going to be an attacking side and you know throw more caution to the wind. So uh, Bruno's probably a little bit more defensive minded than Jake, and uh, you know the gaffer gaffer went with uh, with Bruno today instead. Colwyn Bay on Saturday, uh, obviously a little bit of history between the clubs in recent times uh, after the events in the FA Trophy earlier this season. We've got a good record uh, at Colwyn Bay and there's no reason why we can't go there and get all three points. Well, that, that's what we'll be doing. We'll be going there to get all three points. We know, we know it's not going to be easy. They've got some very, very good players. Um, I've, I'm a big fan of Sean Williams who plays in midfield. I think he's an exceptional player. Um we know that we've got to be right. We've got to be the same as what we were tonight and the same as we were on Saturday. We have to pass the ball. And if we don't, we know that Colwyn Bay will punish us. So we'll be ready, we'll be right, and uh, we'll be doing everything we can for three points. And we're not exactly on the shoulders of North Therapy and Telford, but we're not too far away now. And that that brings added pressure for Saturday. Yeah, of course it does. But it, all, you know, it also gives added pressure to everyone else because they they'll have a look behind and say... You know, Altrincham, they're not, they're not a bad side. They're, uh, they're creeping up that table. I think that puts us third today. I might be wrong. We've gone to third. So, you know, we'll keep... Um, the gaffer, that's another thing. The gaffer keeps saying, you know, one game at a time, we'll, we'll deal with, with what we've got to do. And uh, if we can keep chalking victories off between now and the end of the season, well, you never know where it'll take us. Thanks very much, Neil. Neil Tolson, as he rightly says, altering up to third in the Skrill North table and uh, just North Therby and Telford United ahead of them at the moment. We go to Colwyn Bay on Saturday. Important game. Boston here at the J. Davidson Stadium on Tuesday night and it's uh, building up for a very exciting April.